doesn't seem like two minutes ago since you were uh, picking up uh, the grand final trophy. Well, you're back at it again. It starts on Thursday. Mm. Big test with Warrington. Are you excited yet about the new season? Oh no, it's been it's been all on since January. Since the start of January, we we're uh, we're we have the knowledge that we don't start the season any more league points in front of anybody else. When that was going to happen, and last year was great. And, you know the fallout from last year about attending certain awards and, and the club and, every, and individuals getting certain recognition has been very, very rewarding. Uh, but then we knew, come February, whatever it is, the date start. That, you know this Thursday where uh, we don't start in front of Warrington. We don't start a better team than Warrington. We don't start with any god uh, divine right to, 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 to beat Warrington. We've got to work hard for that. So, and we've all been really conscious that that's something we spoke about at the very start of pre-season in November. That uh, you know, we, in many respects, we've got to work even harder this year. So, uh, the excitement's been building since January the first. A lot of people were speculating all the players leaving. You've, you seem to recruit very well, Brian. Talk us through your recruitment. I mean, getting Brett Ferris in at the last minute that must be a real boost for you. Yeah, he's uh, he needs no introduction, does he? So. Yeah, he's, he's obviously going to be an important part of what we do, you know, going forward. But uh, Keith Galloway, uh, he's a bit of old school actually, just an old, an old school tough, tough prop. Not particularly old himself, but you know his style of play. Uh, and uh, and both Falloon and Anthony Malalia will, will both be good acquisitions to our squad. So, you know, we lose some important people, and there's been no sentiment to try and replace those. Oh, we don't try and replace them because you can't. You can't replace Kevin. You can't replace. JP or Kylie, but you've got to find a different route through, you've got to find a different way of doing things and that's that's what we're aiming to do. Does the pre-season take a different shape when you're going to be in the World Cup Challenge because people talk about pacing yourself through the season to get ready for the end of it, but you've got a massive challenge. You know, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure, I, you know, we've been involved in these before and uh, and and it, it, it really does give you a sharp focus to what's going to happen round two, round three, I can't remember the last time we played one. Uh, what round it was, but it does give you a sharp focus. But I remember prepping for last pre-season, for this, you know, for the 2015 up-and-coming season, and that was intense as anything. You know, probably borne out the fact that we uh, we didn't do so well at the back end of 2014. So each each pre-season has its own story, and you know, our particular story is we got we got uh, North Queens and Cowboys to try and beat them to become the uh, the best team in the world, and that's. For me, there's only positives in that. That's it's a task, it's a challenge for sure, but uh, really exciting. Yeah, because it means you've already got all three trophies you can win domestically. You could have, you could have the lot, couldn't you? That'd be great, though. Yeah, yeah, for sure, that'd be great. The, the, the carrot and the, and the reward that's on offer is, uh, you know, it, we, there's your motivation straight away. So something we're pretty keen for. And obviously, you know how meticulous you are in your planning one thing you can't control is the weather and obviously it's washed out of Kirk so how has that affected things? Well it is what it is we uh, it's not it's not what we'd want but uh, but at the same time it, you know we our reputation and our I suppose uh, profile in Leeds couldn't be any higher at the moment so every every school or sporting facility or club that we call upon and say can we come and use your 3G field or grass not only do they say yes but they lay a day on for us so you know, it's uh, there's uh, yeah, and there's enough there's enough sports facilities in Leeds, and you know if you I was just uh, Danny McGuire speaking earlier, and it's true, it's true for a large part of the squad. They've been down at Kirkstall now for a lot of years, and they've done day you know day in day out, year in year out of pre-season at Kirkstall, and I think it's refreshing a few people actually. You know, so uh, we'll get into Kirkstall at some stage this year, in the next few months, but until that time, it's it's no particular inconvenience. Can I ask you about Warrington? Beat you a couple of times last year. They seem to recruit well as well. They had a disappointing year by their standards last year. What, what, what do you make of them? I think they'll be full of juice. I do. I think they'll be. I think they'll be ready for it, Warrington. I, uh, they've they've recruited. Uh, you, they've had a. Uh, they've had a probably a more aggressive recruitment than they've had for a few years now. And yes, their squads changed and evolved. Since Tony first got there, Tony Smith first got there, but uh, I think you know they, they've lost a fair few and, and brought a fair few in more than most of the seasons. I'd say, 
and uh, and that would rejuvenate a few people. You know, they, they'll have spent a lot of time in pre-season talking about this is how we do things, this is what Warrington do, and this is how Warrington play. They're explaining all that to a, a lot of people, and you know, going through that process uh, is very is a very good system to go through. So, I'm sure they'll be uh, full of beans. And as you rightly say, with they beat us twice last year, convinced they beat us really. You know, not, never mind the scoreline. I'm I'm talking about how we performed. So, uh, yeah, we. We uh, we know they're they're going to be opposed as a real threat, and it's a good it's a good fixture for us to start with. We've we started off the the seasons against one of the lower end teams, which poses its uh, its it poses its challenges in itself. But this one against one of the teams that's going to be contending for cups and finals at the end of the year, so it's a big one. This. And looking at the competition as a whole, finally, you anticipate it being even more competitive and stronger this time. For us, yeah. Everyone that likes to beat Leeds. Well, I, I think, even more, yeah, I think every, you know the historically Leeds have always been viewed as you know even when I played before Super yeah. League when we played Leeds everybody viewed Leeds as being the the money men and the more affluent clubs and everybody likes to beat the most you know the, the so calls the haves the have nots like to beat the haves and all that but uh, I think the demographics have changed dramatically haven't they since Super League you know and Sally Cap here and we don't spend any more money than anybody else and. Most clubs have got great facilities now, but that sentiment of we like to beat Leeds still there. So, for sure, yeah, I think it's going to be a real tough season for us. We've been prepping, and we're in where we got the the idea in our heads that it's going to be all on from round one, and we're not going to get a breather till the end of Super Eight. Last one, I promise. Uh, five to eight Thursday night. We'd be nervous, excited, bit of both. There'll be some nerves there, but. Because you have a chance of losing, uh, but excited is probably going to be the big thing. Really looking forward to watching our lads play. Really looking forward to getting back out there again and uh, and starting on that long journey towards the grand final for 2016. Yeah.